it is no surprise to see this article today remember for the past three four days the federation has been well past couple about two weeks the federation has been lamenting on the acquisition of macy greenwood into the senior team so i'm not surprised seeing this article that i'm going to read to you guys today i'm very much not surprised about it because football is a cut short business and in football <laughs> if you're not serious you lose it anyways big up on yourself people smash the like button hit subscribe subscribe button welcome back to mg sports tv macy greenwood england now as i said no surprise at all seeing this article this article goal.com for those who don't know because we know some love say incredible now with me speaking about it people are gonna say me highlight it because love complaints and me highlight things one goal.com is a far huger huge huge bigger platform than mg sports matter about millions <laughs> of followers millions and they put and they posted a story about mason greenwood and apparently apparently we still kind of technically i wonder how, how this one are going to know if, if it's an agent move if it's a, a case of which the the, the, the person who made the report themselves want to see something happen but they want to have very very interesting people so listen keenly and i make a try we're going to try to decide for the situation then we're going to start we're going to discuss what we think is likely to happen and what is the possibilities are so england manager will be taking notice of in form mason greenwood with ex man united forward told what he needs to do at marseille in order to keep asking question international question so basically i'm gonna say all right we'll watch you we'll see you but these are the the requirements you're gonna need for us to even start considering you and most likely um, the, the, the aspect of requirements it can, um, surrounds is performance so it's not necessarily say boy of the, not regardless him personally it's strictly performance based so the decision now is looking at say once you perform well we'll see how that going go so basically that's the message so let's continue mason greenwood has mason greenwood has been told that no why well, listen to that mason greenwood has been told that so specifically that's all like a direct conversation between Macy Greenwood and someone. Listen to this now. The new England manager will be taking notice of his form since leaving Manchester United for Marseille. The 22-year-old, um, so you know them all is the little rhetoric, so they all like give some little story, some background story. I most of the time with tabloids, no, not, not tabloids, my apologies, if you call it big gold, gold tabloids. Well, most of the times these articles, them hollies are fillers. But let's read it for, the, for, for this one, this time's sake. The 22-year-old forward has earned its um, solitary senior cap for his three lines against Iceland back in 2020. He was sent home from the squad after breaking COVID quarantine rules, while our field issues have prevented him from coming back into the content, contention for selection since then. So they'll have now the bigger picture means uh, what's it for the future. Greenwood did, however, star um, on loan at La Liga side at half of last season, winning their Player of the Year award and, is, and has netted five goals for Marseille in League One since completing a £27 million trans um, pound transfer from Old Trafford. Now, what Waldi said. So for those who don't know, Chris Walde is a former England international, um, very highly rated, respected as well in the media space in England. Um, this is what he said. Lee Carson is currently filling the role of the England boss on an interim basis. Following the departure of Gareth Southgate, with former Three Lions and Marseille star Chris Waddle telling Flash Score if Greenwood could earn himself an international recall, he's a... <coughs> He's a very good player. He's got the number 10 shirt and England seems to be producing a lot of number t good number 10 these days. He's come out of the blocks very quick, started scoring goals from, from the off and, new, and the new England manager will be taking notice of this. Now, 
he did not say the interim manager. So he said the New England man- manager. <clears throat> so even if he's speaking about the Lee Cars that was filling the spot right now, let, let's, let's address it from that aspect. If he's speaking about Lee Cars that was actually filling the spot at this present moment, he's, and he's saying that he's taking, he's taking in consideration, there's no confirm. Um, destiny there for Macy Greenwood because even if Lee Carsley is looking at him, we don't know what the situation may be when the, the, the England FA finally hires a manager. What if he's not with it with, with the situation? Or Lee Carsley said, No, what because it performed well, may I bring him in? Or the new England manager coming and say, Hey, we don't know what's going to happen. And that's, so that's that's kind of a little two sided thing there. Um, so let's continue. We all, this is what Lee Cars is saying, um, what, the, what Chris Wadley said. We all know the French league is quite strong, but it's not as strong as the three or four other leagues in Europe right now. You've got to take that in, in account. It's not as strong as the Premier League, La Liga, or the Bundesliga, but all he can do is what he's doing in Marseille, score goals and play well. Now, this is the interesting part, because they had to add this in just to... Sensitize or sensitize it, it sensitize it, the situation. There has been talk of Greenwood switching allegiance to Jamaica with their national side currently manager, <laughs> managed by former Manchester United ex England boss, um, Steve McLaren. If high standards can be maintained in France, then the flying winger should have plenty of options to consider when it comes to his long term future with club and country. So, you see. The situation that Macy Green is in right now. And as I said at the start of the video, I'm not surprised, I'm really not surprised with this article coming out now and people making contacts with, with Greenwood now. Because it's it's known, globally known that um the the, the, the JFF is pulling in Macy Greenwood. Even recently, the, the president came out and said, you know what, documents are at Pika. Documents are at Pika. So we're going into the stage of where things is going to happen. So, with this article coming out now, it's like a, a, a stop or a pause. Put into a stop or a pause to what's happening here. Are trying to do that because they want to say, you know what? We don't really want to lose him. We don't really want to use him, but we don't want to use him. But let's see if we can disrupt what is going on there with the Jamaica situation as long as possible until we feel like, you know what? We can see if we can go in for him. So that could be the case. Now it also could be the the, the agent kind of pushing this. You know what? Here we go. Here we go on. Then put it to the side already. Make a go for Jamaica. Let's run to Jamaica. And let's let, let, let's use let, let's let's use this opportunity to definitely shine and show them what they missed out on. Or could also be agent say, you know what? Let's push the Jamaica thing, force their and force their hands. So there's two ways to look on it. There's, there's actually many ways to look on it. But those are the two big ways you can have a look at it. But at this present moment, I do think that what England FA is doing right now is just basically muddying up the water to deter the youngster from coming. Just long enough to see what's going to happen when a new coach come in. Because they don't want to make any decision as yet because they don't know what the in, what's the intent of the new coach that is coming in. So they said, no, let's muddy up the water as long as possible and stop that before the new coach come in. So when the new coach come in now and give us an official confirmation of what his, in, his intent is with the player, then we can know what will go from there. Because what if we muddy up the water now, new coach come in and say, you know what, I will go further with the player. I think I, I, think we, I can work with the player. You know what, they, and instantly they call up Missy Greenwood. But in that case, you know, she, them... them, them them don't muddy up the water. And Macy Green is play for Jamaica. New coach come in and say, hey, you know, say I wanted him to play for Jamaica and play for England. They going to feel like say, hey, they miss a huge, huge opportunity. So this is the ideal time. Muddy up the water. Delay the process as long as possible. Get into the player's head. Get into the player's uh, management. Just long, long enough so to, to hear what the intent of the new coach is. So these are many ways how to look, up, look on it. So as may I say, Luckily, luckily, the JFF said, you know what, let's expedite this thing. And this could be one of the reasons, maybe, just maybe the JFF um, has this in, um, in foresight. I said, you know what, let's do this as fast as possible. Let's expedite this process so that 
things like this don't happen. So luckily, the thing I move fast and we could see it go from there. But as I said, still, I think England had us to try to muddy up the water for, for, for delay the process. But guess what? Down to the player. I want to disrespect the player in a big, big way. Chew him out like on our cast. But let's see how that one goes. I think he might make the right decision. Still. Big up on himself, people. MG Sports TV, or out. God bless. Jamaica, come, yeah? Don't worry about it.